This episode is brought to you by FX's Feud, Capote vs. the Swans. Inspired by actual events, the series tells the story of Truman Capote and the women he betrayed. The original housewives, they were society's most elite women. Rich, glamorous socialites who defined a bygone era of high society New York. From creator Ryan Murphy, this drama series features an all-star cast, including Naomi Watts, Demi Moore, and Diane Lane. FX's Feud premieres January 31st on FX Stream on Hulu. TIAA is on a mission. Why? Because 54% of Black Americans don't have enough savings to retire. So in collaboration with big name artists like Wyclef Jean, TIAA released Paper Right. New music inspiring a new financial future. With 100% of streaming sales going to a nonprofit that teaches students how to invest. Stream Paper Right now and help close the gap. This is Central Texas Living with Ann Harder. Hello, everyone. I'm Ann Harder. Welcome to Central Texas Living, the podcast. We are in the time of the summer where we're in the oven and not a whole lot going on past 4th of July activities, but there is a fun first time event we want to tell you about today. It is the Rock and Luau Dinner and Dance. I'm going to set this up so you can see it. It is a fun event you're going to want to put on your calendar. It benefits a couple of important nonprofits in Waco. And here to tell us more is the organizer of all this, Baylor's Assistant Director of Wellness, Fitness, and Nutrition. Van Davis. Van, now, this is your third time on this podcast. This we came to figure it out. And I, I just love it. I love talking with you. I love this environment. And aloha to you and to <laughs> you. all of our viewers and listeners. And to you. Um, we, you, to me, are the little Energizer Bunny. I mean, anywhere all over town, there's something going on. And you're there either supporting Baylor Sports or you're, 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 you're there. You're a part of it. Um, but back in uh, February... At the Valentine's dance we went to, the mortician, morticians were playing at, and uh, you, you pulled me aside and said, you know, there's I have this dream <laughs> that I want to have a party in the summer, and it is happening. It is going to be a party and a half, <laughs> a luau. I mean, what, what better way for the summer to be at a luau? Right? Sure. And like you mentioned, there's really not a lot going on this summer. And it's the first time since COVID that we get to be together. And I want to make sure that we can do that with a great band and uh, two great charities that we're going to be raising the money for. What better way to come together? Well, it's going to be a fun event. It's going to be very family friendly. Yes, ma'am. Let's talk about that. Well, first of all, there'll be no alcohol. And I know that some people would like to have alcohol so they can really party. But to me, family is more important. And also, too, if uh, the music is good, the food is great, you know, maybe one night we can do without alcohol. Well, so. and, of course, the morticians. Let's talk a little bit about um, this. This is an iconic band in Central Texas, one of the one of the most longstanding, I want to say the oldest, although some of the members <laughs> might say, yeah, we probably are they're the oldest. Mature. <laughs> they're mature. They're <laughs> mature. But they've been performing since the 60s. I think they got started in one of the high schools, maybe it was Richfield. I'm not even sure. But they were, they've been performing, you know, covering those great classics and now doing a lot of stuff from the 80s you know they've kind of kind of move move forward but what a great way for kids to begin to you know become more um, aware and familiar with that great music too that's right be familiar with their parents and grandparents <laughs> sounds <laughs> and it's all very wholesome you know and that's that's also very important yeah well yeah. The, the impetus was this is was a birthday right it's birthday a birthday and a retirement. yes a big six zero for me um so i thought you know instead of just doing uh, dinner and 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 gathering which is friends and families I thought, what a better way to bring the community together and then to be able to do something great for a couple of charities. Yeah. Well, yeah, and it's a great, great way to celebrate. And it's the kind of thing that you told me you would like to see it happen year after year. Yes, if we can make this a successful event, it will be successful. Um, and I want the whole community to come out and support that. Then we can do it every summer. We can have a rock and luau. And, and it could be <laughs> like a standing and look forward to it and yeah. be able to, you know, uh, um, break the, the 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 summer heat and come indoors and just really celebrate together 
and families and uh, doing good work for the community. Well, you'd asked me to be a part of the uh, founding committee. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I've kind of gotten a little behind the scenes uh, look into all the uh, planning that's gone into it. And you have a great little committee that's been working hard. You've done, I think, their yeoman's share of the work. Um, But we've got... uh, Penley Party Productions is helping out with some uh, of the things that we need, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, um, the the setup, you know, the tables and chairs, and they're also helping us with uh, some decorations. They're throwing in some decorations for us, so it, it's going to look very festive. Uh, we've got a uh, great uh, sponsorship from um, the Mullet Man, uh, which is um, Dina Dwyer's son, who uh, has a big YouTube uh, following. Really? With his, with his hunting and his, his um, yeah, just mainly hunting. How fun. And yeah, it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. So I look forward to meeting him and for, um, for his company to be a part of this event. And we're definitely looking for more sponsors. So the more sponsors we have, the more money we can raise for um, Caritas and the Family Abuse Center. So the yeah. more, the better. Yeah, two very important agencies here in Central Texas. And, you know, the summertime, everything does sort of shut down. But the work they do never shuts That's down. That's right. And one thing I forgot, I think KXXV <laughs> is also helping us out with um, um, a media sponsor. That's right. Yes. Yeah, KXXV is the uh, media sponsor for this event, and we have a have a spot that uh, Todd Unger, who is their primetime news anchor, he's going to be emceeing the event with me. And uh, yeah, it was it was fun to uh, to go back to the station and do, do do the promo for that. Well, to um, see to see you. In the promo video, <laughs> doing the hula, that no. is that that will be a great sight to see when it comes out. Okay, well, let, well, let's talk about dancing because I could take let's some hula do. lessons. But you have been so involved in the community, and you were part of the uh, dancing with the Waco Stars. So let's talk a little bit about that's kind of how you got involved. Yeah, well, that's with the morticians, right? Well, no, actually, the mortician and I have gone way, way back. Mm-hmm. Um, for many years, they used to do a Valentine's dance. Remember that? Oh, yeah. At the convention oh, yeah. center. Yeah, hamburger supper. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, so we would go every year, and we, of course, uh, knew the Smiths, um, Alan, the lead singer, mm-hmm. and Buddy and Paulette, and have been a great supporter of them. And Buddy used to be the director of Caritas. Correct. So mm-hmm. uh, I was always you know, doing food drives for Caritas and all of that. So we, we go back many years. And then uh, in 2016, I was asked to participate in the Dancing with the Waco stars for the family abuse center well i you know that i love to dance yes. but i love to dance when there's just music and just dance freestyle mm-hmm. not the technical pointing your toes and yes. eight, one two three you know five six seven eight so that was a struggle for me um <laughs> i but, did i did that event too right? the first year it they did hard. it i remember and I you danced the salsa and I, I was so out of my element it was not even i was so nervous well to do that. Were you nervous? I was n- nervous in a sense that I'm doing something that I'm is out of my comfort zone. Exactly. I was not nervous to be on stage, you know. <laughs> no, I, I I don't right. mind that part, but to remember that one, two, three, you know, what what when to turn, oh, when I to know. spin. And it wasn't that long a thing. It was just it gave you a lot of appreciation for the big oh. dancing with the stars on ABC, you know, what goes into They were amazing, right? For those. And then we, we did not spend a lot of time, but the time that we did spend, it was teaching me to do something that I've never done before. One, <laughs> right. I did a, when they told me I was going to do a rumba. Oh, a rumba, yeah. A rumba. I didn't even know what that was. I turned to my partner See, and I go, I what is that? I preferred a rumba to a salsa. <laughs> but we did both. We did yeah. rumba for half mm-hmm. and salsa oh, for the other you? half. So I prefer the salsa, but I, I couldn't move <laughs> that fast. But anyway, it but it was fun. And I actually ended up winning the Dance oh, with the did. Waco Stars in you 2016. Did. And luckily for me, it was not based upon the dancing <laughs> It was based on how much money you were able to, uh, to bring right, in. Right. So I brought in the most money. So I do have a big trophy in <laughs> oh, my living beautiful, room for that. A beautiful yes. trophy, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a great event. Of course, you know, COVID shut down so many fun events. That's so many right. things that have um, kind of hampered things. And that's why it's exciting to see this uh, Rock and Luau 
dinner and dance come about because I think folks are looking for things to go and do and have some fun. Yes, and I think, you know, it, it can serve all those things that you mentioned, bringing people together, having fun, great food. I can't wait for the food. Oh, let's talk and, about the food. Yes, and we put together the menu. So, <laughs> I know. So if people do not like the menu, they can blame Anne. <laughs> well, not, <laughs> not, not entirely. Totally. <laughs> because we had a theme. That's right. And if you got a theme, you know, you're, you're halfway there. But you want to talk about that? Yes, we are going to have Caribbean... Um, jerk chicken, yep. uh, that's what it's called, mm-hmm. and uh, cilantro, lime, uh, rice, um, green beans, almondine, um, cranberry, um, uh, cranberry walnut salad, um, oh, corn souffle. Yeah, this oh. is from the chicken, right? The, the chicken, chicken place, place in my hair makes and the best corn souffle. I said, if you don't, there will be a riot if you don't have him bring the that's chicken, right, the corn souffle. And then they have the best, uh, bis, um, the dinner rolls. Oh, yeah, oh gosh, to die be, for. So it's you know, it's a little more elaborate meal than yes. a hamburger, which hamburgers are good, but it's, it's going to be more the theme and it is going to be an event, it's going to be an evening of a, a nice dinner and dance, and some fun things, too. Yes, we're going to be um, uh, during, usually when you go to a, a dinner dance during the band break, there's really nothing going on. But uh, we have the two great MC who will be making sure that band breaks are filled with events and activities. I'm going to be teaching a hooky lao dance. Really? So I've been practicing a little bit. What, um, all right, now you got to tell me. The what? hooky lao is a, a tradition Hawaiian dance. Mm-hmm. It's, it's actually a... A dance of a village fisherman village, and we're going to do a hukilau dance. It's not that difficult. Okay. So I'll teach it, and we are going to do it together. It'll be so much fun, and you're going to be on stage with me. You and all right. yeah. yeah. So and Todd, so yeah. we're taught, and we'll do that together. So that will be a part of it. We'll have a fashion show too, prior to oh. the band playing. Roxana a Couture by Roxana um, has put together this collection, and it's a recyclable collection. And I saw that with my own eyes uh, a couple of weeks ago. She had put together a bride and groom, a dress for the bride, and a groom tuxedo. And it's made out of plastic and water bottles. Really? So amazing. <laughs> so I'm excited to, to, to see that and have everybody see the collection. Mm-hmm. Um, and we're going to also have um, uh, some raffles going on throughout the night. Uh, just a lot of things going limbo contests as well. Well, you got to have yeah, that at a luau. Course, yes. <laughs> so lots going on, and I think it's going to be a uh, huge fun from five thirty all the way to ten o'clock when we finish. Brooks Running has a new shoe for you runners out there. Did you hear that? Better turn up your volume. In fact, turn it up to the max. Introducing the all new Ghost Max. It's got all kinds of things to make your knees and ankles feel protected. Like Max Cushion, Max Soft Landings with DNA Loft V2 Foam, and Max Smooth Rides with their Glide Roll Rocker. Feel better on your run with Ghost Max. Learn more at brooksrunning.com. Well, it's it's going to be delightful. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, as as I mentioned, you know, here we are, sort of in the the heat of the summer, and and your work has always been in fitness and nutrition and staying healthy and you know when it gets hot like this it's just so easy just to sit on the couch and watch tv so let's talk a little bit um share your expertise with us about how we can continue to stay fit even though the the heat is on well you know i love the summer i love that we have more of the daylight to do the things that we want to do is nothing like leaving work and then the sun's down right so during the summer when if you need to work out outdoors and i would encourage people to get outside whether it's for a walk you know cycling with your friends and family but to make sure we do it at a time that it's conducive for for our bodies and that's early in the morning Try to avoid between 10 and 3, 4 Mm p.m. So after work is a great time. We have sunlight until after 9 o'clock. Oh, yeah. So 7 o'clock, when I walk my little puppy, my daughter's little puppy, at uh, about 7.30, 8 o'clock, it is is wonderful outside. So make sure we do it at the, the right time that it's not so hot. And then the other thing is make sure we hydrate ourselves. Uh, it's been recommended that we intake about four to eight ounces of water throughout the workout mm-hmm. every 15, 20 minutes. And if you're going to work out more than an hour, make sure that we have plenty of water and maybe taking some um, sports drink might be great for 
electrolytes and p- right. potassium. Right. Yeah, there are there are certain mixes now that you can add to your water bottle right. that that helps you with hydration. Are are those good? Are those those are great? Money? But some the, are sort of expensive. Right. But you know the main thing is if you know if you're working out like half an hour or mm-hmm. less, water is 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 just fine. It's those if you're running a long. Long, long, long race or um, oh, I long play, run. I play tennis and we'll, tennis, we'll play yeah, three for hours, sets yep. and it'll be two and a half hours that yeah. we will be playing. It's mm-hmm. generally early enough in the morning, but I have found I get home and I am just exhausted. Yeah. And, and a lot of it, I think, has to do with humidity. There's not much you can do about that. The humidity and also exerting the the, the energy and the loss of uh, of your uh, nutrition too. You know, being out there for two hours, even mm-hmm. though the sun is not, uh, you know, coming down on you, you're still getting the heat. Oh yeah, from the night before and. And, and tennis is, is a tough sport, you know. I say that, and last time we talked about it, that's one sport I'm not great at, but it's a great activity. And so make sure that anything more than an hour to replace your potassium and electrolytes by, you know, intaking the, the sports drinks and, and, you know, the mix that you have with the water. Yeah, I think what's important is if you're doing something that you love and doing something that's fun, if, if exercise is a sort of a chore that it's not going to be something you'll want to do then find some you know definitely find something that you enjoy doing yeah. and it might be coming to a luau and dance right with great music <laughs> well we'll be indoors exactly indoors um but the main thing is really i always tell people if you do not enjoy what you do then it becomes work it becomes something that you have to do and and you don't look forward to it. Find mm-hmm. something that you enjoy that you can look forward to doing again tomorrow and the next day. And, and then you can carry out that habit uh, throughout your, your journey versus I'm only doing this for two weeks and I don't like it, then I stop. You know, mm-hmm. so well, there's a lot of And things. I look at, at the summertime as, as a way to, you know, really to work on your fitness level. You know, as we go into the fall and winter when we have more sickness and so forth and everybody's kind of concerned about new variants of COVID and all that sort of thing. But I think people's fitness level is going to gonna help them to, to weather, you know, some of these right. viruses. I've heard more from people who would call or text or email and say, hey, Van, I've really gained a lot of weight over, you know, COVID. Yeah. And um, what can I do? And the main thing I always tell them is, one, again, find something that you can go back to and, and begin to move our body. The main thing is to move this body. Um, and to me, it's not, don't be too much concerning about how many calories you can lose or, or you know, the, the reps and the, the mo- modality. Just find something to move our bodies because for the last you know, year and a half, we have been not been moving Mm-mm. too much. So just moving right now will be a, a great uh, goal to set for yourself. And then you can start looking at you know, what you're eating and how often you're working out and what type of um, um, program you're doing. But to start out, just move whatever it is that's best for you. Um, and also talking about uh, working out in the, in, in the summer month is to make sure that we wear something that's breathable. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, there's a lot of uh, um, material out there, the fabric out there that's very breathable, you know, the... the um, the sweat wicking material. Right. And and some of it will uh, screen the rays, the exactly. harmful uh, rays as And well. a bright color mm-hmm. of shirts uh, will also do that, will reflect the sunlight. Mm-hmm. That would be great. Mm. Um, and then also, you know, th- I just read about this the other day. I'm not a runner, but uh, if you like to run, they say to even take a cold shower before you go out before for a run. Before you go before, out? Before. Really? And then wet your hair. That way, your body temperature it's is cool. cooler. Yeah. And when you go out, it's going to take longer for your body to heat up. So I thought that was kind of cool. That is a great suggestion. Especially wow. for guys. You know, they yeah. could just go in there, wet their hair, and no big deal. For us women, you know, we want to make sure we look look a little <laughs> bit nicer when we're out there jogging, right? <laughs> oh, well... <laughs> At any, at any rate, that's yeah. That that's a that's interesting. That's a yeah, great I idea. Was, was well, cool. as you say, um, a dinner and a dance. Though, what a fun way to kind of mark the uh, the late weeks of um, July. This is going to be the twenty fourth of July, a Saturday evening, a Waco Athletic Center. Let's talk about where that is. I'm not sure I've been to that. That location. is actually on eight hundred Schroeder Drive, and if you were to uh, be on Highway Six between Texas. Um, um, Central Texas 
Mall and Richland Mall is kind of mm-hmm. like right in the middle okay. on Industrial Imperial D- Drive. Um, once you put it, put that address on the GPS, it's not difficult to get there, but you can't see it by looking from Highway 6. All right. You can dance like a dashboard hula girl. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to dance like Ann Harder on the commercial. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> you want to have fun like Ann Harder. <laughs> we are having fun. Eat like Elvis at an all-night Honolulu buffet. <laughs> Enjoy an evening as perfect as Jack Lord's pompadour. <laughs> you are having too much fun. How can folks get tickets? Well, the easiest way is to, a lot of people know by Eventbrite. Eventbrite. Um, yeah. And you just have to, in the search, just type in Rock and Luau, mm-hmm. and it will pull up our event. Or you can pay with um, Venmo. That's you know a lot of people are doing now, and it does, there's no fees attached for the um, the receiver and the giver. And all you have to do is the Venmo is at Dana D A N A dash B O H N dash one. So you just go over there and you can just pay for your ticket and also email D D. B O H N O seven at gmail dot com to let Dana know who will be our the person in charge of the tickets and the um, the um, the money to let her know how many tickets you're buying and then go pay with it that way and you can always email me at van underscore davis at baylor dot edu if you have any questions and I can send you the link that would be the easiest way to do and that and the cost is very reasonable forty dollars mm-hmm. forty dollars for a, a, you know to have a meal with that menu. Yeah. It's alone $40. Mm-hmm. And then on top of that, you're going to get to dance. You get to hear great music. And the mortician has a great following here in, in oh, the yeah, community. No about so it. just to come out and, and listen to them with a great mm-hmm. dinner and also knowing that you're going to help Caritas of Waco and the Family Abuse Center, that alone right there is, is worth more than $40 a person. Okay. Is, so there's no website or any other place that they could go to to get no, tickets? We will, um, no, not to get the tickets. Mm-hmm. Uh, we will be putting together a Facebook page okay. event for this event, Good. and then there'll be a link that they can just click on that. So it's going to be Rock and Luau Facebook page. All right. And that's going to be wonderful. Well, it is always a delight to have you, Van. And I'm so glad that you thought of doing this. I'm so glad you're having a birthday. You're the, you're the first person <laughs> so, I thought of. And we need Anne on this committee because well, you do, you know, you talk about me earlier, but you do so much for our community too. And you know so many people. If we just get Anne's friends <laughs> to just come to this event, well, we'll fill up the whole event. Well, it, it'll be a joy. It'll be a lot of fun. And we will try to sell a lot of tickets and have a lot of folks there. Uh, What do you have a maximum number you're looking at? We're looking at, we have about 300 tickets and that's not a lot of tickets at all. So if you want to attend this event, make sure you try Mm -hmm. to get your hands on the tickets ASAP. Get them, get them early. All right. Again, for July 24th, rocking it luau. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to rock it. Thank you so much. Well, thank you so much for allowing me to be here. And I can't wait to see you and party with you on the 24th and everybody who will be joining us. Good. Thank you. You're welcome. Aloha, friends. Want to get swept away to a Hawaiian luau without the 20-hour flight? You're in luck. Just follow the glow of the tiki torches to the Rock and Luau Dinner and Dance. Saturday, July 24th from 5.30 to 10 p.m. at the Waco Athletic Center on Schroeder Drive. Only 40 bucks buys you a ticket to dance the hula and enjoy a Hawaiian feast. Also featuring music by the morticians. Join us for a night of fun at the Rock and Luau Dinner and Dance. Central Texas Living is part of the Rogue Media Network family. Be sure to check out their other shows at roguemedianetwork.com. Please rate us five stars on iTunes and anywhere else you get your podcasts. Join us again soon for more Central Texas Living, the podcast. This has been a Rogue Media Podcast.